Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and let's give God glory. Come on, for the Lord is good and he's worthy to be praised. Come on, if you're excited to be in the house of God, come on, stand up on your feet. Open up your mouth and just worship your king. Come on, tell somebody, say, the Lord is good. Come on, lift your voice and say, the Lord is good. Come on, one more time, say, the Lord is good. And he's worthy to be praised. If you're excited to be in the house of God, somebody lift those hands. Open up your mouth and just begin to worship your God. Father, we love you. Come on, Father, we glorify you. Father, we exalt your name. Father, we give you glory. And we thank you for being God. Tell somebody we want the glory of God to rise in this place. Come on, clap those hands. Come on. Come on, clap, clap, clap those hands. Come on, let's do it. Hey, everybody, clap, 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 clap those hands. Father, we love you. We worship you on this side. Uh, for you greatly to be praised. Uh, so we lift our hands in their presence. Uh, no one greater than our God. Yeah. Song is simple. Song declares like this. Song says, so let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Come on, clap those hands one more time. Hey, let the glory of the Lord rise among us let the glory of the lord rise among us let the praises of our king rise among us let it rise come on clap those hands oh, oh, oh let it rise come on celebrate with us one more time oh Let it rise. Come on, clap those hands. Open up your mouth. Give the Lord glory. Come on, everybody. Three parts. Say it. Say, let the glory of the Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let it rise. One more time and say, say, let the glory of the let Lord. Let the glory of the Lord. So let it rise. rise let the glory us. of the let Lord. The glory of the Lord. Let it rise. rise let the praises of God. Let the praises of God. Let it rise. Rise among us. Let it rise. Come on. Hey, hey every man in the poor say, oh, say, oh. Say, let the glory of the Lord rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise. Let the praises of God rise. Let the praises of God rise. Let the praises of God rise. Let it rise. Rise among us. Let it rise. Come on. One more time. Say, say, let the glory of the Lord rise. Let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise. Let it rise. Let the praises of our praise is of our say, let it rise. rise among us, let it rise. Come on, hey, everybody lift your voice, say, oh, say, oh. Hey, everybody say, let your glory, glory, let it rise. I say, let your glory, glory, let it rise. I say, let your glory, glory, let it rise. I say, let your glory, glory, let it rise. I say, let your glory, glory, let it rise. I say, let your glory, glory, let it rise. Glory, glory, let it rise. 
glory. Come on, clap those hands, everybody. Hey, uh, Father, we need your glory. Come on, grab it, everybody. Say, Father, we need your Father, we need your glory. Come on, everybody, grab it. Hey, say, Father, we need your Father, we need your glory. Come on, if you need them, come on, say, Father, we need your Father, we need your glory. Come on, uh, lift those hands in the room. Say, Father, we need your Father, we need your glory. Come on, lift those hands toward them. Hey, say, Father, we need your Father, we need your glory. Come on, here we go, everybody. Everybody, lift it up right here. Come on, say, let your let your glory, glory, let it, let it rise. rise. Say, let your let your glory, glory, let it, let it rise. rise. Say, let your let your glory, glory, let it, let it rise. rise. Let your let your glory, glory, let it, let it rise. rise. Say, glory, 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 glory. We need glory. glory. So let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Yeah, the glory of the Lord rise among us. So let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Come on, lift it up, everybody. Three parts say, say, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord Rise above the praises us. of the praises of our King. Rise among us, let it rise. Come on, one more time, everybody say, say, let the glory of let the, the glory Lord. of the Lord rise among Father, us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us, let it rise. Just lift those hands toward heaven one more time. Let the glory of let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the praises of our King rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord rise yeah, come on, lift your voices so you, you can lift your hands on tonight because millions didn't make it, but you sure were one of the ones who did. We came here tonight to get in the presence of a king. Somebody lift those hands. Open up your mouth. Just lift those hands to them. Thank you, Father. Come on, lift those voices to you. Can we create a sound of worship in the room? Come on, lift those hands, sort of. Come on, lift those hands. We were in an intercessory prayer earlier, and the presence of God was here. We want the flow of the river just to flow in this place on tonight. Just lift those hands. Open up your mouth. For the next 30 seconds, just begin to say something to your God. Yeah, Father, we worship you. Yeah. Father, we exalt you. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. There's no one greater than our God. There's no one greater than our Savior. Oh, no. Song is simple. Just lift your hands to the king. Song says, Say you, Lord. Say you are worthy. Father, we worship you on tonight. And no one can worship you for Father, we exalt you for all the 
the things you've done for me. If he's done anything for you, just wave your hands on him, yeah. And no one can worship you for me. I love this part. Just lift your hands and worship him. So here's my worship, yeah. All of my worship, yeah. Receive my worship. That's God. All of my worship. Just wave your hands toward the great God. He is my worship. All of my worship. Yeah. Sing, receive my worship. Yeah. Sing, all of my word. Let's go back to the top, everybody. Sing, you, Lord. Sing. Everybody say, uh, for all of, for all, all the things you've done for me. You've done for me. Father, we give you worship. Everybody, come on, say, uh, and no one, and no one can worship you for me. Come on, everybody, one voice, everybody say, say, here's my worship. Here's my worship. Say, all of my worship. All of my worship. Of, say, greasy. Say, here's my worship. My worship. Say, all of my, all of my yeah. worship. Come on, Say, receive my worship. Come on, say, all of my all worship. Of my worship. Come on, everybody, try Come on, say, yeah. say here's my worship. Here's my worship. All of my worship. All of my worship.
the room. Your voice, everybody say, Receive my heart. Yeah. All of my, all of my Come on, words. this is what heaven sounds like. Everybody say, Here's my words. Be quiet. Hit me on the one. Everybody say it. Say, here's my word. Just lift those hands and worship them one more time. Everybody, say, here's my word. All of my, all of my word. Say, receive, receive my word. That's all. Say, all of my, all of my word. Now, if you came to give God glory and worship him, come on, lift those hands. Come on, open up your mouth. Come on, you said, here's all of my worship. Here's all of my praise. Come on, just lift those hands for them. The song says, I will not be silent, but I'll lift my hands, I'll open up my mouth, and I'll give our God glory. If you work, if you know he's deserving of glory, somebody lift those hands. Open up your mouth in the room. Come on, open up your mouth in the room. Yeah, that's it. Open up your mouth in the room. Come on, and give God the loudest shout of praise. You got Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. This is the day that the Lord has made. Do me a favor. I told you all to do this yesterday. Just close your eyes for the next 60 seconds. And I want you to think about something good God has done for you. Close your eyes and think about something good today that God has done for you. Close those eyes for the next 60 seconds and think about something good God has done for you today got about 15 more seconds just think about something good he's done for you today something good he's done for you today now I need you to open up your mouth and give him praise for that thing oh that's not good enough if he put breath in your body you ought to open up your mouth I need somebody to make somebody feel uncomfortable on your row and scream as loud as you can and give God praise Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. Do me a favor, tell your neighbor, bless his name, bless his name. Tell him, why don't you bless his name? Tell him, the Lord is good, the Lord is good, he's good. He's good, Minister Brooks is coming to open us up in prayer, after which Deacon Daniel Jones is coming with our scripture. And then Reverend Keisha Dandy is coming to welcome us. Church, say amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this evening. First and foremost, we thank you for your son Jesus dying on the cross for our sins, paying a debt that we wasn't able to pay. We thank you, Father God, that through him we now have renewness of life we now have a resurrected life we now have right fellowship with you we thank you also Father God for the gift, the power the indwelling of your Holy Spirit and we thank you for your holy and precious word we pray Father God as we reimagine our relationship with you, our relationship with our family, our relationship in the community this day, Lord God, we pray that you would set us free, 
break the chains in our lives, renew our minds, do something new in us, Father God, as we go through this time of consecration, of setting ourselves apart for something that's on a higher level. Help us to move on a higher level. Help us to live on a higher level. Help us to speak on a higher level. Holy Spirit, we invite you. We allow you to do anything that you want to do in this service. We know that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom and liberty. We pray that you will set free and deliver those who have been held captive so long by the enemy. Break the chains, Lord God. Break the chains, Lord God. Bring about victory. Victory is in Jesus' hand. We thank you for the Lord Jesus and for him bringing the victory in our lives. So we thank you, Father. It's this him precious name we pray. Amen. Good evening, everyone. I will be reading Ephesians chapter 3, verses 18 through 20. May be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him, that is able to be to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us may the lord add a blessing to the reading of his word amen praise the lord saints praise the lord saints amen amen <laughs> I would like to welcome you on tonight to our midweek convocation service. Amen. Y'all don't seem excited. This is our first year that we ever did an elevation and consecration service, and we're super excited about being here. So we are happy that and uh, elated that you were here to come and worship with us. We welcome you, Bishop Anthony Hanna, to come and Give us a word on today. We welcome our visitors. We welcome you, you, and you, and we thank you for coming out. Amen. All right, we do something here. She might have, she was nervous today. Uh, we do something special here at New Kingdom. Need you to pull your phones out for a second. Just pull your phones out. You don't got to get up. Just pull your phone out and take a picture by the person you sit next to. Something we call here is called selfie with a saint. Amen. So pull your phone out, take a picture with the person that is sitting close to you, tag us in it, hashtag it, NKBC or NKC Consecration. Only time you can pull your phone out. Come on, praise team, sing a little something as they take a picture. I don't see some of y'all pulling y'all phones out. Pull them phones out in church. Out. Take a picture with yourself, with your neighbor. Everybody say bless, bless, say bless. Hey, That's hey. not me saying. That ain't me. Sing, Pastor. Say bless, 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 bless. Come on, jump to your feet real quick. Help us. Only jump to your feet if you know you're blessed. Come on. If you know you're blessed, jump to your feet. We're blessed to see. We're blessed to feel. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every song of sickness and poverty. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Everybody Turn it around. He's gonna work in your face. 
together give God praise shake your neighbor's hand and tell your neighbor I'm so glad I sat by you I'm so glad I'm so glad take their hands and tell them I'm so glad take your seats in the presence of the Lord amen amen this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice how many people are happy to be in a house on a Wednesday night you think about all the places you could have been but you're in his house and we are glad about it. It gives me great honor and joy to welcome you to the New Kingdom Church. How many first time visitors? Is this your first time? Won't you just wave your hand if this is your first time here? Amen. New Kingdom, let's celebrate them. Amen. Do thank you for being here as we are celebrating our very first elevation consecration uh, service and week in the life of our church. And we thank God for what he's doing in our midst and we are excited for what's to come amen tonight uh we've had here with us leading our praise and worship uh brother anton milton can we make some noise for brother anton milton thank you for leading us in worship tonight thank you and i believe nick reynolds and family affairs in the house amen thank god for them but more importantly there is a preacher in the house yeah, there's a preacher. There's a preacher in the house. And before we move forward, I'm going to ask that Nick Reynolds prepare themselves to give us an A selection. Uh, as I'm talking, you guys can start making your way uh, to our, our, our pulpit, our A selection. If you can, and if you don't mind, if you don't pull your phones out one more time. What's up, Daryl? Good to see you, man. Pull your phones out one more time and share this worship experience because I believe that there is somebody that needs to hear this word tonight from Bishop Anthony Hanna. Amen. So use your virtual platforms and share this worship experience on tonight. Give Nick Reynolds a hand as they come. Jay, help them up them steps. Amen. After they come, we'll come back, raise, and lift an offering, and then we will introduce the preacher. They will give us a sermonic selection, and the next preaching voice after I introduce him will be our guest preacher. Come on, put your hands together one more time for Nick Reynolds. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, clap your hands. Say something out of your mouth. Glory be to the name of our God. Come on, we can do better than that. I'm going to join in with you. Hallelujah. Come on, fill the room. Hallelujah. Come on, fill the room. Hallelujah. Fill the room. Hallelujah. Come on, come on here. Hallelujah. If you here on a Wednesday night, that's a good here. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody like unto our God. Hallelujah. He's brought me from a mighty long way. I think I'm going to add an extra mighty. He brought me from a mighty, mighty long way. I'm going to just add one more. Mighty, mighty, mighty long way. Woo. The Lord has brought us. He has kept us. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. We are honored to be here with you. We are honored to celebrate the Elevation Consecration time. Hallelujah. I, I have the distinct pleasure of ministering with these wonderful, wonderful singers and minstrels. Amen. Hallelujah. But I like it. I like it when we sing songs that I can immediately apply. Uh, I 
be trying to stay seated, stay focused, but sing songs that I can immediately apply to my life. Tonight we minister unto you, never shall forget. Woo! I'm telling you, mighty, mighty, mighty long way. Never shall forget what the Lord has done. I may forget what you do, but I'll never forget what the Lord has done for me. Any witnesses out there? I'll never forget what the Lord, I done got loud, what the Lord has done for me.
forget that I'm not talking to nobody. Tell somebody I never, all the ways he's blessed me, all the doors he's opened, I'll never shall forget. Come on, clap your hands one more time. If you should never forget. Amen. It is giving time. We're going to stay right in this mode and get ready for worshiping through giving. Church, say amen. I'm going to ask all of you that can. We don't beg here. I'm going to ask all of you that can get a $20 offering in your hand tonight. Standing up all over the church. Get as close as to $20 as you possibly can. It is preaching time. Amen. So get as close as to $20 you can. Deacon, you handing out money tonight? Amen. Oh, I should see you. Get as close as a $20 seed tonight. And those of you that are watching online, $20 offering. Standing up all over the church, starting in the rear. Come on with your $20. Ushers directing. Partner with us with $20 tonight. If you're giving electronically, give dollar sign. New Kingdom BC. If you're giving PayPal, Zelle, or Venmo, nkbc.info for gmail.com. Come on with your $20. Let us give unto the Lord. Come on. the gift. We thank you for the giver. Now, my Father, I pray that you will bless these gifts, bless the hands that gave, and God, I speak double blessing for those that gave, and even those that gave from an empty space, God, I pray that you would even now fill the void. In Christ's name we do pray. Church says amen. 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 Clap your hands one more time. Give God praise. <laughs> it is preaching time. Amen. That's why I am here tonight. And I really don't have much to say about Bishop Hannon because I really don't know him. Uh, I was led by the spirit to him because there were some other names that was brought to our desk, some other people we considered, but the Lord led me to Bishop Anthony Hannah, and to so much so that we were wrestling around with dates via Facebook. And I said, man, why don't we just text each other? We on Facebook inboxing back and forth and we finally started texting, and he is an uh, itinerant preacher, which simply means he's booked and busy. Uh, so it was very challenging to him on the books, but God uh, arranged it tonight that he would be with us on tonight. <laughs> Bishop Hannah, I already told the New Kingdom Church that they are in for a treat because I have been watching you via Facebook on, and YouTube, amen. And I am excited about what God has given you to impart and deliver to this house in the season in that which we are. I'm excited, Bishop Hannah. Amen. This Amen. is the first time you'll be here, and I know it won't be the last. Amen. So do me a favor. Extend your arm to the pulpit. Say, Bishop Hannah, Amen. preach the word. Preach the word. Bishop Hannah. Nick Reynolds are going to come and set the house on fire. And the next preaching voice 
would be that of Bishop Anthony Hanna. Please stand as he stands and comes to the pulpit. Amen. Amen. As we prepare our hearts and our minds to receive the word, we must blot out everything else but solely focus on the word. Not in part, but in whole. Yeah, yeah. Everything we do for God, we must do it totally. Y'all yeah. agree with that? Amen. Everything I give, God, I give my total to you. I don't give you anything in part, half nothing. I give it all to you. Even my praise. So we can get lost in praise and make it emotional. But God, pass the emotions. Pass the music. Pass the bump. God, I get lost in my praise to you because I'm giving everything I have. Because all I have left is my praise. All I have left is my praise. And that that I have, I give unto you. I give you total praise. Come on, let me see it. Let me see it. I give you total praise, Father. All that I am, all that I have, I offer it unto you.
will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. And the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Some of y'all still looking at me. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Look at your neighbor and say, help me praise him. Ooh, that was about six people. Look at your neighbor and say, help me praise him. Help me praise him. You may be seated in the presence of our good and gracious God. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We are so happy to be here tonight. We want to give honor to the Spirit of God that is in this place. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I thank God for Jesus. And I thank God for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen. While you're in the celebratory mode, help me celebrate the tribal chieftain and the senior pastor of this house, Pastor Daniel M. Jackson. Come on. Celebrate the man of God. Thank you, Pastor, for inviting me to come. I am so humbled and honored by your gracious invitation. Uh, can I be honest and transparent? I'm petrified. Because as I look around, I see preachers. And that's scary when you got to preach in front of preachers. Amen. I'm so happy to have our Bishop of Ordination who is a part of our fellowship. Bishop H. Denise Reynolds is in the house tonight. We praise God for her. She is a mother of our Reformation and we thank God. Thank God for her tonight. Amen. Pastor Chico Robinson is in the house. Y'all making me nervous. Y'all making me nervous. Pastor Buster Fields is in the house. Amen. Thank you for coming back to America. God bless you. Amen. Welcome to America. Amen. I'm so proud of Pastor Fields. And to all of the other preachers and pastors who are gathered in the house on today, we honor and praise God for you. How about Brother Anton Milton? Praise God for his ministry. I'm sorry, Preacher Neely. God bless you, Preacher Neely. Good to see you, man. Amen. And your lovely wife, amen. I'm praying for her that she's married to you. I'm praying for her. Amen. 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 And I have a special love for Nick Reynolds and Family Affair. Amen. Praise God for them on tonight. And y'all uh, uh, bear with me, um, but two of my four children are here tonight and I have to celebrate two of my four children one of my daughters is here tonight Deaconess Lachelle ha uh, I said Hannah but she's married Deaconess Martin praise God for you and my one and only son Anthony Craig Hannah Jr Amen Y'all may know him as Boom. That's Boom. Praise God for him on tonight. Amen. Pastor Irene Major, I love you. Praise God for you tonight. There is a word from the Lord. Pastor Gooden, God bless you, man. You set the stage, brother. Oh, I heard you, brother. I heard you. Praise God for you tonight. Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. Verse number 7, Mark chapter 16, and verse number 7. When you have it, shout, I got the word. And if you're still looking, say, wait one moment. 
I heard you and I'm going to wait for you. Mark chapter 16 and verse number 7. I want to thank you so much for your hospitality. Uh, as soon as I pulled up, there was brothers waiting for me. And I praise God for you on tonight. Mark chapter 16, verse number 7 says, But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him as he said to you. Father, we bless you. We give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. We thank you for this worship experience. We thank you for this elevation and consecration. We thank you for the vision of this house. We thank you for the man of God that you have placed in this house. We thank you, God, that we feel your presence already. We thank you for the songs that we heard. We thank you for the scripture that was read. We thank you for the opportunity to give but God we need to hear a word from you and we ask oh God that you would speak to us talk to us tell us what you want us to know and Father I ask that you would anoint your people as they hear your word and I ask Lord that you would anoint me afresh and allow me to deliver your word for it's in Jesus name we pray and all the people of God said amen as you take your seats, if you don't mind, I want to read verse six, uh, verse 7 of Mark chapter 16 again. It says, but go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him as he said to you. I want to talk about tonight, and he still wants you. I want you to look at your neighbor real good and say, neighbor, oh neighbor, and he still wants you. Now that was the wrong neighbor, so they didn't get excited about what you said. So look at another neighbor and say, neighbor, Oh, neighbor, and he still wants you, and he still wants you. More of my children walked in the room. Y'all celebrate my children. My children walked in the room. And he still wants you. Peter is a disciple that I love to preach about. I like Peter. I like Peter because Peter is outspoken. It was Peter when Jesus asked, whom do men say that I am? He said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. When Peter confessed who he was, he got his name changed. Y'all know his name used to be Simon, but when he confessed Christ, his name changed. Okay, y'all miss y'all cue when the shout. When he confessed Christ, his name changed. Let me make sure I'm talking to the right group of people. Have you confessed Christ? Have you confessed Christ? If you have confessed Christ, then your name has also changed. Come on, I need some ex-people in the house who will celebrate the fact that when you confess Christ as your Savior, you were no longer what you used to be. I like Peter because I remember when Peter was on Mount of Transfiguration, 
they were enjoying themselves and Peter said to Jesus, it is good for us to be here. Let, let, let's build a tabernacle. Let's stay here. I like Peter because he was outspoken. I like Peter because he was a risk taker. Y'all remember when the, the, the disciples were out on the water and a storm rose that Jesus met them in the storm and Peter said, Lord, if it is you bid me to come and Jesus told him to come and Peter took the risk and walked on the water. I like Peter, I like him, I like him because he's a ride or die disciple. Uh, I remember at the table where Jesus was eating with his disciples and he said one of you have already betrayed me and, and after they had the meal he looked uh, at his disciples and said uh, one of you shall deny me and Peter said no nah, Lord I got your back I'm your ride or die and Jesus said to him before the cock crows you would have denied me three times I like Peter Peter was a switchblade carrying disciple. He carried a switchblade and did not mind using it. But when they were in the garden of Gethsemane and, and the soldiers came up upon Jesus, Peter took out his switchblade and cut the man's ear off. Can I put a quarter in the meter right here? Uh, 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 Pastor Jackson, you need a couple of Peters in the house. You need some switchblade carrying disciples who don't mind cutting a brother when they need to be cut. Y'all too saved for me tonight. I wish I had a couple of people who will say, I need a Peter in my life. I need somebody who's a ride or die and who will cut somebody when they need to be cut. I, I like Peter. I like Peter. He's a cussing, denying disciple. Uh, Y'all remember Peter was warming up with the crowd while Jesus was on trial and the little girl looked at him and said yeah you were with him and Peter said no I, I, I don't know him I don't know him and then the girl came up again and said yeah you look like him you you were hanging with him you are a Galilean and the third person said yeah you are him and Peter said no to bleep bleep I'm not Oh, y'all sitting in this house like you ain't never cussed before. Some of y'all still got that cussing demon. Ooh, I'm so tired of fake folk, I don't know what to do. Look at your neighbor and say, you know you got a spirit. You know you got a spirit. I like Peter. I like Peter. Peter, Peter not only was a cussing, denying disciple, but Peter was sorry for his mistakes. I got a couple of people in the room who have made mistakes and you are sorry for the mistakes that you have made. I'm getting ready to say something real profound right here and I might get cussed out for it, but uh, in order to be a part of this elevation and consecration, you must admit that you have some Peter in you. I wish I had about five people stop looking at me like I ain't talking to you. Every now and then the Peters show up in our lives. Look at somebody and say, I got some Peter in me. Oh, yeah, I got some Peter in me. I, I'll cuss you out. Mm -hmm. I got some people in the room who will be honest. You will put the cross down sometime. Uh, you, you know what? I'm so tired of y'all faking you looking at me like you don't put the cross down sometimes. Sometimes you step away. But the good news tonight is, somebody shout the good news tonight is, that in spite of the Peter that's in you, God still wants to use you. 
excuse me while I shout by myself because there's some Peter in me but the Lord still wants to use me I need you to hit three people and say and he still wants to use I got I got some issues but he still wants to use me and there's no way you can call yourself walking in elevation and walking in consecration if you don't first admit that you got a problem, boo. Everybody that's in the church, everybody that walks in the church, matter of fact, nobody that walks in the church is completely perfect. I need some people in the room who will be honest that you got some skeletons up in your closet. Uh-huh, don't say nothing too loud. Don't say nothing too loud. Uh, some of y'all, your skeletons got skin on them. <clears throat> and if the door opens, they might walk out. But in spite of your issues, excuse me, I'm getting ready to shout right there. In spite of your issues, God still wants to use you. I can't believe there's some people didn't move yet. They didn't say amen yet because they are trying to cover up their stuff. If you want to be delivered, you got to admit that you got some issues. Can I get 20 people in the room tonight who will get up on their feet and say, I got some issues. But in spite of them, I want to preach so bad. In spite of them, he still wants to use you. So whoever's getting elevated, don't think this elevation is going to make you perfect. I don't care how much oil gets over your head. You're going to be still dealing with some issues. As long as you're here on earth, there is a battle going on between your spirit and your flesh. Every time I try to do right, evil is present on every hand. High five your neighbor and say, I got an issue. because I want pastor to invite me back now. Don't think that I am giving you license to continue in sin. Because some of you already done took my sermon out of content. I am not giving you license to continue in sin. But if you're filled with the Holy Ghost, there are some things you just ain't going to do no more. There are some things that you're going to give up and say, for God I live and for God. Look at somebody and say, give it up, baby, give it up. Because, I got to move on, because the Holy Ghost is not just to cause you to speak in tongues. Okay, let's get ready to get quiet. We got people, uh-oh, I'm going to get in trouble. We got people who speak it in tongues and ain't got the Holy Ghost. Oh, y'all didn't like that. Y'all didn't like that. Because evidence of the Holy Ghost is not just speaking in tongues but living right. How you going to speak in tongues and you don't even speak to me? Boo boo, you ain't got the Holy Ghost. You can dance and step. You know when to start, when to stop. I mean, people move 
when you shout, but baby, whose bed are you sleeping in? Oh, I ain't coming back. I ain't coming back. Ain't nobody going to say amen now. Ain't, ain't this elevation and consecration? And when, when, you, when you went to the elevation and consecration, you got to be corrected. Look at somebody and say, you got to be corrected. So, so, so please don't take my sermon out of content that I'm giving you license to sin. God forbid. Because you ought to be better than you were in the past. Uh, you ought to move from a sick pack to at least one. That went right over some of y'all head. Because it got dead silence in here, dead silence. You ought to be in progressive mode. Look at somebody say, you ought to get it right. Ooh, somebody didn't like that, boom, they didn't like that. God still wants to use us in spite of us and I'm going to give you three reasons why God wants to use you in spite of us he chose you and he has a plan for your life that was set from the foundation of the world okay y'all went to sleep on that one in other words God already had a plan for your life before you even showed up. So he chose you. I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited that he chose me. Because when I look at my resume, I ain't right. But God says, I'm going to let you preach my word in spite of you. I remember children heard me tell this story before. I remember when I was growing up I, 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 in school I wasn't a jock. I wasn't a sports person. I didn't play basketball well. I didn't play football well. My worst subject was gym. I couldn't stand P.E. That's what they call it now, P.E. I couldn't stand it because every time we went to gym, they picked sides for teams. And I was one of the ones who was always chosen last because I was known, this is the way we used to call it back in the day, I was known as a scrub. But there was a couple of times that I wasn't the last, but I was chosen. Y'all get ready to miss it. Y'all get ready to miss it. You don't even deserve to be on the Lord's side. You don't even deserve to serve God. But God chose you in spite of you. Somebody ought to say yes here. High five your neighbor and say, neighbor, I ain't right, but he chose me because he's got a plan for my life. I gotta have a moment, excuse me. Because when I look back over my life and I think things over, I ain't right, but the Lord chose neighbor say but he chose me the reason why woo, the reason why God still wants to use you in spite of you is number one because he chose you number two he chose you already knowing you were going to mess up. And he incorporated your mess up in his plan. 
Pastor Jackson, you got to invite me back to teach your people when to shout because you should have shouted right there. Hit your neighbor and say, you should have shouted right there. I got it in my notes. Shout here. And y'all didn't shout. So I'm going to give you another chance to shout. He chose us already knowing we would mess up and he incorporated our mess up in his plan. High five your neighbor and say neighbor. He knew I was going to mess up. But he put it in his plan. Yes, Lord. All right, I, I got to get out of here. He chose you in spite of you because, number one, he chose us for his plan, and his plan has been set since the foundation of the world. Number two, he chose us already knowing we would mess up and incorporated our mess up in his plan. Now I'm getting ready to really scream on number three. God still wants to use us in spite of us because he already has a plan for our restoration. Touch your neighbor and say, you ain't shout yet. You didn't shout yet. He chose you. Because he already had a plan for your restoration. Hit your name and say, shout on that. God already had it written down. going to restore you and look the Lord just told me something it wasn't written in lead pencil he said it wasn't written in ink it wasn't even written in magic marker but it was written in his blood, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus shall yes. High five your neighbor and say it was the blood, it was the blood, it was the blood. five people and hit them and say, the blood, the blood, the blood. I'm trying to move on, Pastor Robinson. I'm trying to move on, Pastor Buster, but it was the blood. What can make me hold again? Nothing but the blood. All right. 
for those people. Y'all sit down. Y'all making me nervous. I got a couple of more things to do. For those of you who are sitting there, because you know you always find a critique person in the building. Always. Some people say, he ain't dealt with the text yet. Here I come. That was my introduction. Here I come. Jesus died. I am an ordained Baptist preacher. Jesus died. I'm going to try that one more time because some of y'all still didn't move. I said, he died. He did not go into a coma. He died. Look at your neighbor and say, he died. He died. He died. He died. Can I do a little Baptist? He died until the moon shook with us. He died until the earth shook and the dead rose up and held a protest march in Jerusalem. He died. he died all night, Friday night. He died all day, Saturday. He died all night, Saturday night, Blood Island. Oh, he's all right. He died. So he got up. With all power in his hand. And the women, that's a whole nother sermon. I'm going to leave that long. And the women, I'm going to leave it alone. And the women, the dudes was hiding because they were scared. But the women, you male chauvinist, you know what, but the women, the women ran into Jesus. Jesus gave them a message, a sermon. Y'all ain't catch it yet. A sermon. Go tell, don't miss this, my disciples and Peter. I'm about to lose my mind up in here. Up in here, go tell my disciples and people. Hit your name and ask him, did you catch that? Peter messed up. But God, but Jesus, still wanted to use it. Go tell my disciples and Go tell my disciples and Anthony. Go tell my disciples and Daniel. Go tell my disciples and Denise. Go tell my disciples and Nick. Y'all didn't catch it. Go tell my disciples and boom. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm glad I'm the end. Say, go tell my disciples and Peter. So, I gotta hurry up. Gotta hurry up. I've been up here too long. 
Jesus then met the disciples. I'm, I'm getting close. Met the disciples on the Sea of Galilee. Some versions say Tiberius. But the Sea of Galilee. And they went fishing. But caught nothing. Jesus is setting up the restoration. These men went back to what God delivered them from. Okay, that went right over your head. I said they went back to what God delivered them from. Uh, don't sit there and look at me like that. Because sometimes we can to go back. Uh -huh. You still got his number in your phone. You know how to inbox her. You know what? Y'all, 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 y'all cracking me up. Jesus let them go ahead and fish, and they caught nothing. Jesus told them, go fish on the other side. I wish I could impact that for unpack that for a minute, but maybe that's another time. They fished on the other side. And the Bible says they caught so many fish that their nets were breaking. But guess what? When they got to Jesus, he was already cooking. In other words, your restoration is already set up. There is nothing you can do for your own restoration. Jesus got to restore you. You can fish all you want, but you need Jesus. I need somebody to shout, but I need Jesus. Jesus said, bring me what you caught. And, you know, they had, they had fish, fish sandwich. You know, they had a fish fry. They had a fish fry. And now it's time for restoration. He said to Peter, hey, uh, Peter. Do you love me? Yes. I love you, Lord. Feed my lambs. Jesus said, uh, Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord. I love you. Feed my sheep. Peter? Yes, Lord. Do you love me? Jesus, now you don't ask me that already, but because of who you are, I'm going to answer you again. Yes, Lord. He said, then feed my sheep. There's two things that I got out of that. I wonder why Jesus said lambs first and then sheep twice. I found out, I did my research, I found out lambs were young they were only like 12 months old but sheep were 12 and older those who are being elevated and consecrated you just can't be for one demographic of people you got to be prepared to take care of the young the middle age and the senior saints. Y'all don't know when to shout. You got to be well equipped so that the gospel can be preached simple, full and free. When my finish preaching, I want the youngest person in the room to say I understood what the preacher was preaching. I don't know about y'all, but I've been called to do it. And you've been called to do it. Hit your neighbor and say, do it. Here's the last thing and I'm done. No, it's not the last thing. I have two more things and I'm done. The reason why he did it three times is because Peter denied him. Uh -huh. he, he had to clean him up. I'm so glad that the Lord doesn't stop at my head. But he washes my neck and my torso and my legs because everything about me is a mess. But I know somebody who will clean me up from the crown of my head to the soul. Restoration.
mission was over. Now that Peter was fully restored, the Bible tells me that they gathered in an upper room and they stayed there for 10 days. They prayed and they prayed. They sang and they prayed. There was no benediction. They stayed and they prayed. But on the 10th day, there was a sound of a rushing mighty wind and it fell on each of them and they began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance but there was a heckler in the crowd who said these people they got to be drunk something's wrong with them but we hear them talking about the wonderful works of God. Peter stood up and he preached the first sermon saying Peter that denied Jesus saying Peter that was a cussing disciple saying Peter that was a loud mouth stood up and preached and when he finished preaching 3,000 souls were saved. I come to tell you tonight that in spite of your past and in spite of your struggles, the Lord wants to use you. There are souls waiting on you. There are souls waiting to hear a word from you. So get up, boo. Shake yourself off, dude. And come to Jesus. And do what he's called you to do. And when you do it, you'll sing like me. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. High five your neighbor and say, neighbor, he still wants to use you. Look at another neighbor and say, neighbor, he still wants to use me. If you believe it, shout yes, yes, yes. I know he's all right. you for wanting to use me. Now that message wasn't for you perfect people, but for us who still have struggles. God says in spite of your struggle, I want to use you. And let me throw this in for free. Nobody's position is no better than the other person's position. I ain't trying to call his name, but I used to serve under a bishop who stood in our meeting one day and said, I don't need none of y'all to be a bishop in the Lord's church. My response was, if you don't need us, who you lead? Who you lead? We all have an integral part in the body of Christ. 
You know what? I praise God for my custodian. Okay, okay. Y'all like funky, dirty, smelly, dirty bathroom churches. Maybe that's what you like. But I praise God for the custodian. His job is just as important as y'all that's sitting on the front row with your legs crossed, sleeping while the preacher's preaching. You're just as important. That person is just as important. I tell my greeters, I had a meeting with my greeters. I said, do you know you're a part of the evangelism team? If you got your, rolling your eyes and your breath stinks. I told them, I said, take a bath, take a shower. Brush your teeth. Put a mint in your mouth. And smile at the door. I'm up here preaching, trying to get them in, and you say, come on in, good morning. And then you go to hug them, and they be like, oh. Stand on your feet all over the room. I want to come back. Pastor Jackson, invite me back. I'll preach better the next time. I'll preach better the next time. But it's time to prepare for elevation and consecration. But elevation and consecration can't take place till you admit that you got some issues. You got to admit that you got some issues. I know everybody don't know because you do it on the low. I understand. Oh, y'all didn't think I knew that. Hmm. Yeah, on the low. The Lord sees you. And you need to get it together the Lord wants to use you. I hope I'm in order, Pastor Jackson. Let me do this first. How many of you are saved, know it, and glad about it? I want you, I want you to check your row to make sure everybody clapping. Everybody praising God. But I gotta praise him because I'm I'm saved. Second invitation. Second invitation. Somebody in the room. Or let, maybe I should say this first. Don't be worried about who's looking at you when I make this next plea. Because if they roll their eyes, they're rolling their eyes because they're covering up their stuff. There might be something you need to repent of. I want you to lift up your hand. I want to pray with you. Hallelujah. There's some stuff you got to get in order. I'm still waiting for a couple of people. I want to pray with us. Y'all didn't catch it. I said, I, said, I want to pray with us. Did, did anybody catch that? I want to pray with us. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we repent of our mess. We confess our mess. And we ask you, Father, to forgive us, cleanse us from our unrighteousness. In the name of Jesus, thank you that you have a plan for our lives. And thank you that you knew we were going to mess up. But you already put a plan of restoration to bring us back to the fold. And for this, we say thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hug somebody before you sit down and say, and he still wants to use it. celebrate Bishop Anthony Hanna. Keep standing, we're going home. Were you blessed by that word on this evening? And he still wants me. thinking about all my dirt. Man. And he still wants me. Can you help me celebrate Nick Reynolds and Family Affair for worshiping with us tonight? Thank you. Can you help me celebrate Anton Milton for leading us in praise and worship? Bishop Anthony Hannah, they had a gift for you. I don't know where is that. Oh, it's in my office. Okay. All right. I just thought we was doing what we did Sunday, you know. <laughs> they getting it? Very good. Thank you. Yeah, we can. Y'all can. If y'all want to pick them up and put them down, y'all might as well. <laughs> neighbor's hand. Does anybody need a ride home? Anybody? Anybody need a ride? Anybody need a ride? TJ, you need a ride? Where are you going? Now I need somebody to take Sister Angela home. Who can, who can, who can help me take Sister Angela? Sister Edith, I got you. All right. Anybody else need a ride before we leave? Sister Erica, you good? All right, very good. Grab your neighbor by the hand. We're not giving it a benediction until Sunday. Tell your neighbor, I love you. And there's nothing that you could do about it. And tell him, guess what? He still wants you. Now give God a praise as we leave this place tonight. You're dismissed. You're dismissed.